Hey loves, it's Angie B and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for so many views on my flat iron routine guys. I know I'm talking about the first one that I did. It just passed 60,000 views and thank you so much. I never even imagined that any of my videos could even reach like a thousand views. I was just like hoping this thing would work out. And thank you so much. And if you're new to the family, my name is Angelica. Welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you get notifications every single time I post. And let us get straight into the video. If you tuned into this, I'm sure you want to know how I grew my hair. Now a disclaimer before I start, I am not a licensed professional and I don't know everybody's hair type. This is just what has worked for me and hopefully you guys can try out some stuff that worked for you as well. I think I may be mid back length at this point or bra strap length and yeah I really don't have like specific set goals like by this date I want to get to this. No. So let me just start off with giving you the tips that definitely helped me grow my hair from where it was. I will put a picture or maybe I've already put it up. I will put a picture so you guys can see how bad my hair was before. So number one thing that I did was create a regimen that I can follow. Of course I did do some sort of like a big chop. Um, it wasn't like a big chop to go natu natural, it was just a big chop to cut off all my damaged ends and stuff like that. So from then on, I had to start making a regimen and maybe a year after that is when I actually got serious with like a full routine regimen. Now definitely you need to try out a few things before you can discover what works for you and what doesn't. But the first thing you need to do is just create a really simple regimen. I think the, simple, the simpler the regimen, the easier it is to maintain. So what I do with my regimen is deep condition once a week and what I'm using is the Jamaican black castor oil, that's what I use currently. That's actually, I've only used it once and I'm really in love with it. So that's definitely a new product to my regimen. But what I always use is the ORS. I'm going to include a picture. That's like my holy grail, ride or die. I always go back to that one, the ORS replenishing conditioner. I love that conditioner. What I would do in a deep condition is to slather it all over my hair and then coat my hair in avocado oil. I would also shampoo my hair once a week. Sometimes twice a week, once in a while I skip a week and just co-wash. But most of the time I will shampoo once or twice a week with a sulfate-free shampoo. My favorite sulfate-free shampoo to use is the ORS. I don't remember what it's called but I'm definitely going to write it. It's in the white container and it has peppermint and tea tree. It's really stimulating on the scalp. I love that one. The other one I love is the Shea Moisture Superfruit something something. That's the one I've used but I definitely want to try the Shea Butter, the original Shea Butter. And after I text lax my hair, I do use the um, shampoo that comes in the pack, but you can also buy a big bottle, which is just the, you know what, I'm going to put a picture. It's in the green bottle. Uh, it is a neutralizing shampoo, and that neutralizes any chemicals that are in your hair. Or sometimes if I just want an extreme deep clean when I feel like my hair has so much buildup, then I'll definitely use that shampoo. I oil my scalp at least three times a week with organic oils. Now, you guys know if you watch my channel, my favorite oil to put on my hair is avocado oil. But for my scalp, I definitely like to make oil mixes and I always throw in some essential oils like tea tree oil and peppermint oil, rosemary oil, oil as well because they are very stimulating on the scalp and they definitely support hair growth. So when you feel that tingling on your scalp, it definitely makes blood rush to your scalp and that helps your hair grow. So that definitely helped me in my hair growth. Since the beginning of my hair journey, I've always used peppermint and tea tree oil specifically. Rosemary oil, I only use it sometimes and I always mix these oils in with olive oil or coconut oil or of course avocado oil. Sorry for the light guys, I know it's distracting but you know I really wanted to film this video and the sun is setting so I'll try to stay away from the light. Anyway, um, Coconut oil is one of those holy grail oils that everybody loves and everybody raves about. That like, put it on your skin, put it on your hair. I swear, coconut oil makes my hair extra dry. I can only put it in my hair as like a pre poo So I would put the coconut oil in my hair the previous night, and it really like moisturizes and makes my hair nice and strong because it is protein rich. But then the next morning, I wash it out. Or if it's mixed in with some of my other oils, then it work. Then it works. But plain. Coconut oil definitely doesn't work for me. For the next tip, I always moisturize and seal my hair. 
minimum three minimum twice a week on a crazy week once a week but I always try to moisturize my hair at least twice a week I've been doing this my entire hair journey and um, when my hair is straight like this then you would find me maybe doing it only once or maybe twice a week but on a regular day I'll try and do it even three times a week so I'll just braid it up moisturize it or you know I'll find a way to moisturize and seal my hair and I do have a video on moisturizing and sealing so if you guys want to see that then I'm gonna link it down below and my next tip is very little heat I do heatless styles all the time I hardly put any heat in my hair once in a while I'll blow dry it but I blow dry on a warm so that's not even really like heat I don't think that causes any heat damage because I do put heat protector that is a big tip with your little to no heat I always use this heat protector from Tresemme you guys know this everybody on YouTube uses this and my other favorite one is this ORS protective serum it's a very thick serum it goes all over your hair so you definitely don't need to be generous with it a little goes a very long way and it's an amazing product I definitely use heat protectors when I use heat on my hair which is maybe four times a year I only flat iron my hair when I text lax it hopefully the lighting's a little bit better now I don't know anyway text laxer you guys know I'm text laxed I am not fully relaxed and I'm not natural Please don't leave comments asking me to go natural because I know my hair, I know what I can manage, I have nothing against people who are fully relaxed, I have nothing against people who are completely natural, it is your hair, you can do whatever you want, you can still watch this video if you're natural or relaxed because these are not, these are not specific tips for, my dog is barking guys. I read a quote recently that said something like relaxing your hair is like being in prison or something I'm like then dying your hair being in prison like it is just hair get over it if you want to be natural and dye your hair blonde go and do it if you want to be relaxed if you want to be a hundred percent natural just do whatever you want to do with your hair it is just hair it is your hair all i'm doing is giving you advice on how to take care of it i text lax my hair twice a year i prefer to put less um chemicals on my hair because it definitely reduces the breakage and helps it grow it makes my hair more manageable so that is why i text lax my hair if my hair was as manageable as this without the text laxer, I definitely wouldn't use it. So yeah, it definitely helped me. My hair is so, so thick. Even when it's text lax, it's like natural. So I definitely just couldn't maintain it if it was like that. But um, I definitely try to limit the amount of chemicals I do. And I do not completely process my hair and make it straight, which is what a text laxer means. So... I do that twice a year, although I might move it to three times a year, I might be text laxing every four months instead of six months, just because my hair growth has kind of accelerated a little bit and now that my hair is more, it's kind of harder to manage and text lax after six months, so I'll decide after four months this time if I'm going to text lax it or not, but that is what I do. My ninth tip is to eat healthy, drink water, and work out. Now, you don't have to be crazy and like go to the gym every day and stuff like that but being healthy definitely helps it definitely plays a part in hair growth I do notice like now I actually haven't been working out as much as I have but I still drink tons of water every day I always have um, a water bottle with me that is about 700 mils or it's almost a liter so I drink maybe five of those minimum four a day and I think if you like give yourself a, a limit or like a minimum amount like maybe two liters of water every day then it's gonna force you to sort of keep up with yourself and drinking a lot of water definitely moisturizes your hair and your skin and nails from within so moisturizing your hair is not just external it's not just things you put on your hair but also things you put in your body so if you eat lots of nutritious food like you know, you eat your vegetables, your meat. Yes, I eat meat like every day. I'm not vegan and I probably won't be vegan. I can't live without meat, guys. That's just for me. But if you're vegan, make sure that, or vegetarian, 
make sure you're getting all your protein and know where to get your protein and stuff like that so definitely eating a balanced diet drinking lots of water working out would definitely help because when you work out you speed the metabolism of your whole body and the blood pumps to your entire body like in excess including to your scalp so if you're working out a lot it's definitely going to stimulate hair growth because you're healthy and everything in your body is moving fast and occasionally I take multivitamins and vitamin C which is just good for your body in general my last tip is patience out of all the tips you ever get about growing your hair there is no magical pill or magical oil that works for every single person in the world but the one thing that will work is patience it took me a couple years to get to this length of hair so um, if I tell you that it's going to take you maybe six months to get four inches of hair remember that different people's hair grows at different rates even me sometimes I'll get an inch in a month and sometimes it gets slightly less sometimes it gets slightly more it just depends all these steps I've given you here do everything that requires application from the bottom to the top whether it is combing your hair, comb it from the tips to the roots. If it's moisturizing your hair, moisturize from the roots to the base because that is the best technique for your hair. So back to patience. If I tell you that it's going to take you six months for you to get four inches of hair, think about it. Let's say you get two inches of hair, right? Or you say six months is too long. I'm not going to put in any work. So... I'm just going to let it break. Guess what? Six months is still going to pass, okay? So all you need to do is be patient. Don't be too like on it like, oh, I want one inch this month and get a ruler. Like, once in a while when I do a length check, I just want to see how far I've gone. I do not care about how many inches my hair is, whether it grew one inch this month and two inches that much. All I want is healthy hair because if your hair is extremely healthy, it will grow. And all you need to do is be patient and wait for it to get to where you want you rushing the process is not going to help anything you going crazy about your hair not growing is not going to help anything all you need to do is be persistent with your hair regimen and i promise you that you will get results of course i have a couple more that i couldn't remember right now and i always drop them in here and there in my videos but i hope this was good enough for you guys to get an insight into the main things that i did to grow my hair and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.